Hi there, and welcome to this crash course of KDP self-publishing. If you don't know me, my name is Tis Coppoli, I am a self-publisher and I made over $70,000 thanks to the books that I've published with Amazon KDP. If you want to publish your books for free without involving a traditional publishing company and making a full-time income, in this course we'll cover everything from the basics of this business model up to more advanced concepts to promote and sell your book effectively after the publication. Also, I'm going to talk about AI and how you can use AI effectively without risking your account to be terminated. Now let's get straight into it. The four main phases of the publishing process are phase one, plan your book, phase two, create your book, phase three, publish your book, and phase four, promote your book. In each session of this course, we'll focus on one phase specifically, starting today with phase one, plan your book. So let's spend a couple of words now on what KDP self-publishing is and why it is one of the best opportunities to create an online business right now. So first of all, what is KDP? KDP, or Kindle Direct Publishing, is a platform made by Amazon that allows everyone to publish their own book for free. The core business model is pretty simple. You upload your book on the KDP platform, the book is then made available on Amazon, potentially in ebook, paperback, and are covered formats. And when a customer buys your book on Amazon, you receive a royalty for each individual sale. And that's it. This is honestly one of the simplest business models to understand that you can start online for free without much experience. And I'm talking about business here because I'm focused on creating a sustainable business that will generate an income for you for the next weeks, months and years. But even if you don't want to create a business for yourself and you just want to see your passion book published, you'll find this course very useful because we are going to cover all the process step by step. But why KDP is such a big opportunity to sell your book? Well, compared to a traditional publisher, you get to have 100% creative freedom to get the books published exactly as you want. And the royalty scheme is very generous as well with a 70% of the price for ebooks and a 60% of the price for paperback and hardcover versions, minus the printing costs. Also, there is no inventory to handle and no shipping to manage. The books are printed and shipped by Amazon directly and you get to take advantage of the incredible user base of Amazon for free. When if you were to create your own store online, not only that would cost money, but you would also need to get traffic to your website. Now let's start talking about the planning phase. And the very first thing you need to know to create an effective plan is what types of books you can publish for a profit. In particular, we divide books into three main categories low content books, medium content books, and high content books. Low content books are books with almost no content and repeated pages like a logbook, a journal, or a planner. Medium content books are books with a bit more content, like for example, a coloring book, puzzle books, or an activity book in general. And finally, high content books are traditional books made mainly by text. And we divide them into non-fiction and fiction. If you want to know all the pros and cons of each type, I made a video where I analyze each one in details. And if you're wondering which type would work the best specifically for you, I made a free online quiz. You can check the link in the description down below. Just in a few words, low and medium content books are generally cheaper, easier and faster to make. And for the same reasons, there is also a high level of competition. While high content books and non-fiction books in particular are more expensive, they require more effort, but there is also less competition. In both cases, you will need either time to make the work yourself or money to hire a freelancer to do the work for you. I personally publish mainly high content, non-fiction books, but over this course, we will talk about low content and medium content books as well. Let's move on now to the keyword research. So what is the keyword research and why we need it? Why we say specifically keyword research instead of market research? Well, when you look for something on Amazon, what you type in the search bar is a search term. And for the purposes of this course, we can simply say that the search terms are keywords. Then the Amazon algorithm on the background ranks every book that they have for how much they are relevant with that specific keyword and other factors like the sales history. So basically choosing a keyword means choosing the topic of your book and what your book is about so that when someone will look for that keyword on Amazon, your book will have the highest chances of showing up. Also, let's compare for a second the time and money invested to make your book with a more traditional real estate investment. 
Before buying a real estate as an investment, you may want to do a bit of research to confirm whether or not that would be a good investment. And KDP is no different. Because when you publish a new book, there is always the chance that it isn't going to sell. But we can at least plan to make a book with a high probability to sell. And there are two factors to consider, demand and competition. Demand because if no one is looking for your book, no one will ever find your book. And competition because if there are too many books already established on Amazon and with a high number of reviews, your new book will hardly be able to compete. But how can we find profitable keywords that are actually driving sales? Well, a proven method that I personally use is to start from the best seller books. You can have a look at the titles of those books and look for recurring patterns or some interesting keywords in general that may be something that people would type in the search bar. Then try to type them yourself and look what the results are. Now, I really recommend you to use a browser extension like Ilium 10 which is the one you see here, it gives you more information about the books that you see on Amazon so that you can see how much they are selling, for example, and what their BSR, the best seller rank is. Ideally, you are looking for books that are at the top of the search results that are selling well. The BSR of a book gives you the idea of how much a book is selling and in general the lower it is the better the sales are. Let's say that under 100,000 on the US market a book is generally selling at least one copy per day. Unfortunately finding a profitable keyword is not enough for a book to be successful because it could still be outperformed by the competition. So what are the things to consider? First of all the number of results in the result page. Generally speaking the lower the better even if it is not very relevant because Amazon may show a higher number of results, not always strictly relevant to the original search terms. Then I recommend you to look for books made by other self-publishers. And if you scroll down to the info of the book and you see that independently published under publisher, then that book has been published via KDP by a self-publisher. Sometimes traditional publishing companies play a game which is a little bit different from the game we can play. So finding other self-published books that are selling well is a proof that our book could achieve the same sales potentially. Also be careful if a lot of books are too recent because if the first books that come in the search results page are too recent then the BSR may have been influenced and manipulated a little bit by promotional campaigns and in general it is an indicator that many publishers are interested in that topic so the competition may be rising. Also, make always sure to check the number of reviews because we'll hardly be able to get a high number of reviews. And even if in the next sessions we will talk about strategies to get some reviews, competing against books with thousands of reviews is not recommended. Now a couple of extra tips. After that you have selected at least a couple of candidates, ask yourself the following questions before committing on a final choice. Can you really make a unique high quality book about that topic that would stand out among the competition? Is it a niche that you can expand with further successful publications after the first book? These questions will help you to make some clarity about your short and long-term vision and decide which opportunity is actually best to pursue for you. And now that we have found a keyword, in the next session we will talk about how to actually create the book that we are planning to publish. It will be a very interesting session in which we will explore different options available for different types of books. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and to switch on the notification so you won't miss when I release the next video. And if you made it to this point, thanks so much. If you like this video, please press the like button and you will help to support this channel. Until next time, take care.